23rd of May. The Lord was once staying near Vesali at the gabled hall in the great forest, and at that time the Brahmin Karanapaling built a building for the Lichavis. And Karanapalin saw the Brahmin Pingyanin coming in the distance, and as he approached, he said, Pray now, from where comes your honor, Pingyanin, so early in the day? I come from the presence of the recluse Gotham. Well, what do you think of the recluse Gotham's clarity? Of wisdom. Do you think he is a wise man? But what am I compared to him, and who am I to judge his clarity? Is it not only one like him who could judge the recluse Gotama's clarity of wisdom? High indeed is the praise that your honor gives the recluse Gotama. But what am I compared to him, and who am I to praise the recluse Gotama? Truly, praised by the praise is the recluse Gotama. He is the highest amongst gods and men. But what good do you see in him that you have such faith in him? Just as when a man is completely satisfied with some delicious favor and longs not for other favors that are poor. Even so, when one hears the good Gotama's Dhamma in all its parts, one longs not for the talk of others, the crowd, the recluses or Brahmins. Just as a man overcome by hunger, and weakness may come across a honey cake, and whenever he tastes it, he enjoys the sweet, delicious flavor. Even so, when one hears the good Gotama's Dhamma in all its parts, one experiences sweetness and serenity of mind. Just as a man may come across a stick of yellow or red sandalwood, and whenever he smells it at the root, in the middle or at the top, he comes across an exceedingly fair, delicious fragrance. Even so, when one hears the good Gotama's Dhamma in all its parts, all grief, sorrow, suffering, lamentation and despair just vanish away. Just as a man tortured by heat, by heat overspent, wearied, craving and thirsty, might come to a pool of clear, sweet, cool, limpid water, a lovely resting place, and might plunk in, bathe, drink, and allay all woe, fatigue and fretting. Even so, when one hears the good Gotama's Dhamma in all its parts, all woe, fatigue and fretting is wholly allayed. When he had said this, the Brahmin Karanapalin arose from his seat, arranged his upper robe on his shoulder, set his right knee on the ground and bending forth his outstretched hands towards where the Lord was, said three times, Homage to the Lord, the Noble One, the fully enlightened Buddha. Wonderful it is, Pingyanin, truly wonderful, just as if one had set upright a thing, toppled over, revealed something covered, showed a blind man the way, brought a lamb into the dark so that those with eyes could see. In the same way, you have illuminated this Dhamma in many ways. I too will go to the good Gotama, the Dhamma and the Sangha as my refuge. Look upon me as a lay disciple, gone for refuge 
from now until as long as life lasts.